Our project is on the grassland biome. What is the grassland biome? The grassland biome is long terrains with lots of grasses, flowers, herbs, and small plants. Grasslands can be called many different things, such as savannas, prairies, and many more. The rainfall is enough to support grasses, but not many trees. There are two main types of grasslands. There are the long grass grasslands, which are humid and wet. There are also the short grass grasslands, which are typically dry and have hotter summers and colder winters. One example of the long grass grasslands are the pampas of Argentina. Where is the grassland biome located? The grassland biome is in nearly every continent. Some major grasslands are in the Great Plains in the Midwest, between Ukraine and Russia, and in Argentina and Uruguay. These are called the temperate grasslands. Temperate grasslands are grasslands that have moderate rainfall and cooler winters and warmer summers than the savannas that are mainly in Africa. Savannas cover almost half of the land in Africa and is mainly located in Central Africa. What are the main climates of the grassland biome? In general, there are two types of grassland climates. There are the tropical grasslands and dry grasslands. More specifically, the prairies west of the Mississippi River are moist and humid, allowing some very tall grasses to grow up to 10 feet. There are many kinds of producers in the grasslands. One example is the big blue stem grass. This is a warm season perennial grass with a blue green stem that can be four to eight feet tall. In the fall, the stem turns a coppery red. It is a native grass species in the North American plains in the Midwest. It has strong, deep roots that can grow 10 feet into the ground. This plant can survive droughts and can live in many different kinds of soil. Its flowering range is from June to September. In the late summer, purple shoots of its flower appear and they start to bloom. Cattle love this grass, and ranchers sometimes refer to it as the ice cream for cows. Another producer that can be found in the grassland biome is milkweed. American milkweeds are an important nectar source for native bees, wasps, and other nectar-seeking insects. It is also a larval food source for monarch butterflies and their relatives. Data from a DNA study indicates that a more recently evolved milkweed species uses these preventative strategies less, but grows faster than, an old, than older species, potentially regrowing faster than caterpillars cons consuming it. In 2007, milkweed was grown to be used as hypoallergenic filling for pillows. Milkweed fibers are used to clean up oil spills. Our first herbivore is a long-necked and legged animal, a giraffe. They live in the sub-Saharan region of Africa in the savannas. Giraffes are the tallest animals in the world because of their long neck and legs. Their legs are typically longer than many humans. They are about 14 to 19 feet tall and weigh about 1,750 to 2,800 pounds. Their necks give them a big advantage for food because they eat the leaves at the top of trees. Even their tongue is long. Their tongue can be 21 inches long, which helps them also to reach their food and grab it off a tree. A giraffe will eat hundreds of pounds of leaves a week and has to travel miles to get more food. They usually only sleep about two hours every day. But there are also bad things about its height. It can be dangerous to drink from a watering hole because it has to bend down so much. But thankfully, they only need to drink a few times a week because they get most of their water from the leaves they eat. A mother will also give birth standing up, and the baby will fall five feet to the ground. And in half an hour, it will be able to stand, and in about ten hours, it will be able to run with its mother. Giraffe fun fact. Did you know that the scientific name for a giraffe is Giraffa camelopardilis, which means a camel that is marked like a leopard because when men first saw them, they thought it was a camel with leopard spots. Our second herbivore is the largest land mammal on Earth, the elephant. An elephant's trunk has many uses, ranging from using it as a hand, as a horn to trumpet warnings, an arm raised to greet someone, and a hose for drinking water or bathing. Asian elephants differ from African elephants in several ways. One difference is that Asian elephants are much smaller than that of the African species. Only some Asian male elephants have tusks. All African elephants, however, have tusks, both male and female. 
While female elephants and their calves interact with each other, the males tend to keep to themselves and in isolation. A single calf is born to a female once every four to five years. The two species of elephant, African and Asian, need extensive land to survive. Both species require exponential amounts of food, water, and space because of their tendency to roam in herds and consume hundreds of pounds of vegetation in a single day. Did you know that just like us, elephants are either left or right dominant? Therefore, one tusk is usually smaller because they use one more than the other. This animal is the fastest mammal on land and can reach 65 miles per hour. This animal is the cheetah. It may be able to run fast, but only for short distances. A cheetah has amazing eyesight, which helps it to see its prey easily. It usually eats antelopes, gazelles, and hares, but only half of their time their hunt is successful. They live in the eastern and southwestern Africa, but only 7,000 to 10,000 cheetahs remain. There are also some cheetahs in Iran, but only about 200. They used to be found in Asia, Africa, and India. They are slowly decreasing because of all the human settlement. Cheetah fun fact. Did you know that cheetahs can't roar? They can only purr when they inhale and exhale like regular domestic cats. Our second carnivore is one of the big cats. That's right, the lion. Wild lions currently exist in sub-Saharan Africa and in India. About 10,000 years ago, the lion was the most widespread land mammal after humans. The IUCN, or International Union for Conservation of Nature, classified lions as a vulnerable species because they have seen a major population decline in its African range of 30 to 50 percent for every two decades during the second half of the 20th century. Habitat loss and conflict with humans are the greatest causes of concern. In the wild, the male lions rarely lived longer than 10 to 14 years because injuries sustained from continual fighting with rival males greatly reduced their lifespan. However, in captivity, male lions can live up to 20 years. They typically inhabit the savanna and grasslands. They live in groups of 15 or more. These groups are called prides. Prides can be as small as 3 and as large as 40. A pride consists of females and their young and a small number of adult males. Female lions usually hunt in groups. Lions are apex or alpha predators, meaning that they are predators near or at the top of the food chain. Did you know that lions are nocturnal? One example of an omnivore that lives in the grassland biome is a baboon. These monkeys live in the savanna and travel in troops of a few dozen or even a few hundred baboons. They are some of the world's largest monkeys and weigh from 33 to 82 pounds and are about 20 to 40 inches long, not including their tail. They generally live in the savanna, but some live in tropical rainforests. Baboons spend most of their time on the ground, but they do climb occasionally. They eat fruit, grasses, seeds, roots, and bark, but they also like to eat meat. They eat small rodents, birds, and even small sheep or antelopes. If water is available, they will drink every one or two days, but they can survive on just the night dew on their fur. They also have many predators such as humans, cheetahs, and leopards, but they are fierce fighters so they will bare their teeth and scream, which can have a predator on the run. Baboon Fun Fact Baboons communicate in 30 different ways, which includes screaming, grunts, barks, and more. Did you know that the jackal is a cousin of the dog? There are three species of jackal, the black-backed jackal, the side-striped jackal of sub-Saharan Africa, and the golden jackal of South Central or Eurasia. The jackals are opportunistic omnivores, predators of small to medium-sized animals, and skillful scavengers. Adaptations to help jackals hunt are their long legs and curved teeth. Their large feet give them a form well-suited for long-distance ru running. Jackals can run up to 9.9 .9 miles per hour for extended periods of time. Jackals are most active at dawn or dusk. Young jackals may stay with their parents until they can establish their own territories. Although they usually hunt alone or in pairs, jackals may form small packs when, for example, they are scavenging a carcass. A fun fact about jackals is that they, Egyptian god Anubis was depicted as a man with the head of the jackal. One scavenger that lives in the grassland is a vulture. This creature lives in every continent except Antarctica and Australia. There are two main kinds of vultures. The Old World vultures, which are found in Asia, Europe, and Africa, 
The other kind are the new vultures, and they are found in the Americas. The main difference between them is that the new vulture is smaller than the old vulture. Vultures feast on the remains of dead animals, and they strip the animal until it is just the skeleton. Vultures are generally solitary animals, but they will circle above their prey in groups. These birds also have a keen eyesight and have amazing immune systems that let them eat things that could be infected. Most animals don't pick on vultures because they are covered in bacteria, so they will probably get sick if they ate one. Vulture fun fact. Vultures often gorge themselves to the point where they can't fly, but that doesn't stop them. They will just regurgitate it and take off into the sky. The second scavenger that lives in the grassland biome is the hyena. Hyena's feet are adapted for running and making sharp turns. Although they are scavengers, spotted hyenas may kill as many as 95% of what they eat, while striped hyenas are mainly scavengers. Hyenas can drive off large predators like lions from their kills. With the exception of the highly social spotted hyena, hyenas are not social animals. Hyenas are known as two types, the small, lightly built dog-like hyena and the strong, bone-crushing hyena. After thriving for 15 million years, the dog-like hyenas became extinct due to a climate change. Of the dog-like hyena lineage, only one species survived the wipeout, the ard ardwolf. While the dog-like hyenas were going extinct, the bone-crushing hyenas were becoming more the undisputed top scavengers of Eurasia and Africa. One endangered species is the burrowing owl. These live in underground homes made by squirrels or prairie dogs. They live in many places in North and South America. They are one of the smallest owls in North America. These birds eat small mammals such as mice and moles. These owls are different because they are active during the day. They are less than 12 inches tall and have long legs. When they are born, they stay with the mother while the father goes and gets the food. Then the mother will feed them. They will leave the nest after six weeks, depending on how well they can fly. They are endangered because humans are using their land. Burrowing Owl Fun Fact Unlike other owls and birds, females and males are the same size. When you think of the Great Plains, what do you think of? Conestoga wagons? Pioneers? Bison? These creatures are the heaviest land animals in North America. Bison can be five to six and a half feet tall and can weigh over a ton. Despite their massive size, bison are very quick on their feet. Bison feed on plains, grasses, herbs, and twigs. They eat and swallow their food, then regurgitate it and chew it as cud. Females and males generally live in separate bands and come together in very large herds during the summer mating season. Bisons once covered the Great Plains and most of North America. During the 19th century, settlers killed m about 50 million bison. The once massive herds are now down to only a few hundred individuals. Today, only about 200,000 bison live on ranches where they are raised for their meat. What animal is half horse and half zebra? The quagga. A quagga at the Amsterdam Zoo died in 1833, but the people did not realize that she was the last of her kind. Quaggas were hunted for the meat and leather until extinction. It used to be found in the drier parts of South Africa in the grassy plains. This animal has markings like a zebra on the head and brown horse-like parts on the back. Quaggas are usually found in groups with females and a head male. A quagga's diet consists of mainly grasses. Quagga fun fact. The name quagga comes from an imitation of the noise it makes. Do you know what the first large African mammal to disappear was? The blue buck. The blue buck lived in the South African savannas. Even by the 17th century, when the Europeans encountered them, they were uncommon. The blue bucks were hunted avidly, despite its flesh being distasteful by European settlers. The blue buck became extinct around 1800. Only four mounted specimens remain. Despite the name, none of the mu museum specimens show a blue color, which may have derived from a mixture of black and yellow hairs. This is one food chain that is in the grassland biome. 
The producer is grass, which gets consumed by the first level consumer, which is the grasshopper. The grasshopper gets eaten by the frog, which is the secondary consumer. After that, the frog gets eaten by the snake, which is the third level consumer. The snake is eaten by the hawk, and the hawk is the top level consumer. This is one example of a food web in the grasslands. The primary producers are the star grass, red oat grass, and acacia tree. These get eaten by the grasshopper, harvester ant, topi, termite, dung beetle, and warthog, and the hare. These are the primary consumers. The grasshopper gets eaten by the wildebeest, which is also a primary consumer. The other primary consumers shown in the picture are the Thompson's gazelle, impala, and mouse. These examples and the wildebeest get eaten by either the cheetah, lion, hyena, serval, or tawny eagle. These are the territory consumers.